I'm attempting to spend the next 100 hours at the gas station Bucky's, never leaving the property for any reason whatsoever, exploring this massive, giant gas station, trying some of its famous food, and looking at this ridiculous beaver-themed merch. All the while, I'll be stealth camping in the back of my truck, hiding in plain sight. This is going to be quite the challenge. Let's see if I can do it. I made it to Bucky's. The best place on earth, also known as Disneyland for adults. It is just after noon on March 24th. I'm gonna stay here for the next 100 hours, or at least that's the plan. Obviously, if someone asks me to leave, I will. I'm not gonna trespass. But I'm hoping to stealth camp, stay hidden, and get to enjoy 100 hours of pure bliss at the best place on earth. I made my way up to the store for the first time and was greeted by this insane statue of Bucky. Has to be over six feet tall. I mean, look at me next to it. This store was so big, honestly a little overwhelming. So I just grabbed something for lunch. I got a chopped brisket sandwich, which was way too good to be from a gas station. But then the reality of the situation I was in actually started to set in. We are officially one hour in, 99 to go. I got something to eat, found a place to park. Chopped brisket was insane. I'm gonna try to take a nap because I have a ton of time to kill. And honestly, I didn't sleep very well last night because I was very excited to come here. After that, I'm gonna explore the store some more, maybe buy some merch? Let's see, but for now, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. I just woke up from a great nap. I'm now more than four hours into this challenge, 96 to go. I'm gonna go see what's in this giant store and probably get something to eat as well. I went back into the store with the plan to get the lay of the land a little bit, see what this place has to offer, which is everything from baby clothes to corny wall decor. And I ended up finding something that I didn't even know I needed, but I definitely couldn't pass it up. I just got done exploring the store a little bit more. The sheer amount of random crap in there is mind blowing. It's so cool. Most of it has Bucky's face on it, including this sweater. $23 for a hoodie, how could I not buy it? I feel like a kid that just got their ears at Disneyland. This is gonna be the best 100 hours of my life. But for now, I need to go find a better spot to stay tonight. This is not ideal, I'll probably get found. So let's do that and let's get settled in for the night. Here's what I'm going with tonight. Just out in the middle of this parking lot. Don't really wanna be on the edges because I feel like that's gonna be more obvious. Hopefully this works. So I'm about eight hours in at Bucky's, and I thought I would explain why I'm actually doing this. So. All jokes aside, the reason I'm doing this is because I like stealth camping. I find it interesting. It's a great way to save money. It's fun. And I was just curious whether or not I could stay at an individual location for 100 hours. A lot of people do it for like overnight. I've done that in the past. Bucky's is a great option because it has great food. Hopefully it makes for an entertaining video. But that's why I'm doing it. It's really just a challenge for me and hopefully something that's interesting for you. But anyway, I'm about to go to bed in the back of the truck. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. We're over 20 hours in now. I just woke up in the back of the truck. Did not sleep the best, but big day today. I made it through my first night. I'm a little over 21 hours into the challenge. And I thought I would kind of just go over my general strategy for not getting caught. So my plan, because I'm just like in one large complex, is to continuously move the truck around so it's not in one spot. Hopefully that makes it look like I'm moving and leaving and maybe it's a different truck. It's not that distinctive. It's not like a large camper van. Last night I stayed in this like big open lot. I think that's where I'm going to sleep every night. But during the day I'm going to continuously move it every few hours just to make sure I don't get caught. I hope that works. So far we're 21 hours in. It's worked. I made my way back into Bucky's for some breakfast. I found an awesome breakfast burrito. This thing was delicious. And I also came up with a plan to entertain myself while I was hiding out of Bucky's, just making sure I didn't get caught. I've been here for 24 hours. You can see it's noon the next day. I'm starting to get a good feel for the place, how to stay hidden, and also just the store in general. And one thing I've noticed is they have so much just unhinged Bucky merch. So. What I think I'm gonna do next is just wander around the store and find some of the weirdest stuff that's for sale because I've never seen a place sell such weird stuff like this other than like Disney World, which I made a joke about earlier. But honestly though, there's some weird stuff. I'm gonna find that, I'm gonna get some lunch. And then I think I'm gonna move the truck again just to make sure I stay hidden. And I was absolutely not kidding when I said Bucky's has some unhinged merch. They have this giant inflatable, $60, and they have like a hundred of them for sale. These onesies, Honestly, they look pretty comfy. I swear I didn't buy one, I promise. These giant pool noodles, Bucky-themed river inflatable tubes, and unhinged signs. I'm dreaming about beavers. Bet your nuggets were open. Beaver fever. This place is awesome. 
But after wandering around the store for over an hour, it was time to head back to the truck. One of the hardest parts about this actual challenge, beyond just not getting caught for 100 hours, is just killing the time. Because I've got 100 hours here and reasonably I can only spend so many a day actually in Bucky's doing something. I only eat a certain amount of times a day and I don't want to get caught. So a lot of it is me just like laying in the back of my truck trying not to get seen. I've been reading this book, The Transal Saga by Gary Paulson. I read it in middle school and remembered liking it so I thought I'd get it and bring it on this trip. It's good but I should have brought more books than that because I'm almost out. So it looks like Netflix is on the docket for tonight. So this is where we're gonna stay tonight. The lot I stayed in last night was over there. So hopefully this will mix it up enough to where no one will catch on. It is supposed to rain a little bit, so hopefully I don't get wet, but the back of the truck should be pretty dry, I think, with the cover on it. I'm 32 hours into the challenge, about a third of the way done, and honestly, I'm doing fine. I'm not dying of boredom or anything. I would like a shower, but honestly, I'm doing pretty well. I also got this sweet cup. Look at that thing. Look at that guy. It's only $13. Everything at Bucky's is so cheap. But the plan for the night is I'm just going to hunker down. I think I'm going to watch a movie probably. We'll see what I find on Netflix. And then eventually I'm going to get in the back of the truck and go to bed once it gets dark and I can slip back there without anybody noticing. It's been a great day. Great food. Great cup. Great shirt. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It rained all night last night, which was awesome. I didn't get wet, truck held up well, and it's almost 10 o'clock, which means we are 46 hours into this thing, almost halfway, and it means I need to get up and get some breakfast before they switch over to lunch. I grabbed one of these breakfast tacos, which were incredible, by the way. They do breakfast so well here. I also got beaver tots, which turned out to just be tater tots. No beaver involved. They were great. I'm officially halfway done. It is two o'clock on Tuesday. That is 50 hours, which means 50 hours down, 50 hours to go. My plan for the day, I'm going to move the truck again because it's been here for a few hours. I don't want to be too stationary and get caught. And then I'm going to go explore the jerky wall. Bucky's is famous for the jerky wall. I haven't paid any attention to it. I've been saving it for like the halfway point as a treat. So that's what we're going to do today. Find the best jerkies and, you know, try them. See how that goes. Halfway done. As a man that loves some jerky, look at this thing. This is so cool. A whole wall of jerky. I didn't know I needed a jerky wall, but I did. I got back from the jerky wall. How cool is that thing? An entire wall of jerky? Doesn't get any better than that. I got two flavors. I got steakhouse and I got bohemian garlic. I'm going to try them both. That's what it looks like. The flavor on that is incredible. It tastes like Worcestershire sauce. I mean, it just tastes like steakhouse seasoning on a steak, maybe. I don't know, really good. I totally get why they're famous for jerky after that. First of all, the jerky wall is just such a good visual. It really scratches my brain. I, I like that a lot. And the jerky itself, really good. The flavors are well designed. The beef seems really high quality. It's from a single cut, they say that. But now I'm going to move again to make sure I don't get caught. And we're going to settle in, get ready for dinner. You know, just do the same thing we've been doing. Time to settle in for night number three which is blowing my mind that it's already night number three. But I'm on the other side of the building. I'm on the same parking lot as night number one, just trying to move around and stay off the radar, of course. I just had dinner. I had a chicken burrito, which was just amazing. It was so good. It had like the Southwest sauce or something. Unbelievable. And picked up this new hat. Look at this hat. I'm sure it's going to be in a ton of videos going forward. $10. What a deal. Bucky's is so cheap with their merch. But this is where I'm going to stay tonight. Try to stay off the radar, get some sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday, 10 o'clock in the morning, which means I have been here 70 hours now. Only 30 hours to go. One more night of staying at Bucky's. A little bit bittersweet, but you can see I switched out my Bucky's gear for some like regular clothes. I didn't want to get busted this far in the challenge. I've been here three days, so running around in all Bucky's gear is probably a little too memorable. Uh, but yeah, the plan today, I'm going to get some good food, and I'm actually going to explore the actual like campus of Bucky's a little bit more. I've pretty much done the whole inside of the store, and I want to count up how many actual gas pumps there are, because there's got to be like 200 gas pumps. So that's the plan today. Let's do it. The sheer size of this place really can't be understood without actually being here. Like, people can tell you it's a big gas station, but until you actually see it, it really won't register in your mind just how massive it is. So I just got done counting up the pumps. I counted 31 different sets of pumps, and there's four each set, which is 124 different gas pumps. And what's crazy is I've seen this place pretty much full multiple times this week. 
It is four o'clock on Wednesday, which means I have been here 76 hours, which means I have exactly 24 hours left to go. One day left. I'm about to go get some dinner. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. I've had so much Bucky's food this week, but I'll figure something out. And then of course, I'm gonna move the truck around. I have 24 hours not to get caught. If I can make it one more day, challenge complete, let's do it. The sun's setting and I just can't believe it's the last night already. This has honestly gone by so fast. I, I thought this was really gonna drag on and I haven't had a tough time. I mean, I've been making TikToks the whole time, so time's passed pretty quickly. And I haven't had a lot of close calls, although I did just have a Bucky's employee stare at me for like 15 seconds. I have this like privacy thing up. I don't know if they noticed it. Now they were getting off work, so hopefully they just go home and live their life and let me live mine. But if not, maybe we get busted right at the last, you know, last second. I don't know, we'll see. But great trip so far, one more night to go. I'll see you in the morning. It's Thursday morning. 10 o'clock, which means I am 94 hours into this challenge. Haven't been caught. I have started to get a few uh, sideways looks, which makes sense. I've been here for four days now, but haven't been caught and I only have six hours left. So I am definitely going to lay it low. I'm going to make sure I complete the hundred hours, but four o'clock today, I am done with this challenge. I'm going to get to go home. More importantly, I'm going to get to get a shower tonight and I need one. I am so excited for that. We'll see though. It's not over yet. It is noon on Thursday, which means I have been here four full days, 96 hours, which means I only have four hours left. I'm done at four o'clock. I'm about to go into the store for the last time. I'm gonna get some lunch. I think I'm gonna get a pulled pork sandwich and finally try the beaver nuggets. I've heard I have to try them in my TikTok comments, so I'll try them. And uh, yeah, this is about over. It's almost challenge complete. I really have to mess it up to not win now. We'll see though. I've done worse. <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but honestly, I'm gonna miss this place. I've had a great week here. Very sad. It's four o'clock on Thursday. I started this challenge Sunday at noon, a hundred hours ago. Challenge complete. And honestly, it was a great time. I actually genuinely enjoyed it. I had some really good food, never got really very close to getting caught, didn't get super bored. You know, the bathrooms were nice, that's good, they have great bathrooms. And the, my truck is a great place to sleep with the setup I have. I love this challenge, I will probably do more things like this. If you liked watching it, comment down below, you know, other ideas, suggestions, tips for better stealth camping potentially, because I think I wanna do more of this because I had a great week.